Hi everyone and welcome to my Hub Pages video tutorial on how to hub. If you're new to Hub Pages, that's probably why you're here. If not, or if you've never heard of Hub Pages, check it out with the link below and I'll wait for you and then all this will be a lot more relevant to you. Once you sign into the Hub Pages homepage, you'll see your homepage, which will have your toolbar at the top, your profile picture with your Hub score and your current activity of you and anybody who's a fan of yours or you are a fan of. So you have the big green hub button and the start a new hub button at the toolbar and either one of those will take you to the create a hub page. On the create a hub page you will have to first choose a title for your hub. You'll probably already have a topic if not something already written by this point so you'll probably know what your title will be but you'll also need to pick a unique URL which can be the same as your title or it can be different be sure to choose wisely because you can't change your URL once you pick one and you have to choose one that is unique so somebody else might already have the one you want so you might have to fiddle around with it until you get a really good URL and title together alright once that is done choose the topic that best fits whatever you wrote about. This will be the category that your hub is listed under on the front page. Mine is informational about hub pages, so it'll be under hub pages in the using the hub tool category. But there are tons of categories to choose from and you have pretty much endless possibilities as far as what you can write about here on hub pages, as long as it's something that you originally wrote then you'll want to tag your hub. Now tags aren't just used for search parameters on hub pages. You have the chance to make money through ad revenue. So you'll also want to tag it with any products that you might think might be associated with your hub topic. Now here's the big rule page as long as your hub fits under these rules which is pretty basic. No spam, no adult content, no gambling, no unfinished hubs, no deception, no copyright infringement. As long as it fits under those categories, you're all good and you're ready to push continue. Now we are at the capsule assembling page. It shows you your title, how many ads that you want in it, and whether it's AdSense friendly and whether or not it's a commercial ad. All hubs start with three basic capsules, a text block capsule, a photo capsule and a comments section capsule. These are pretty much your basic capsules which every hub will probably have. In the text block you can add a block of text of course. Photos you can add a photo from your files or a URL and a comment section for people to leave comments. There are also other capsules. You can add an eBay or an Amazon ad capsule you can put a poll on there and as you could see you could use the arrows to click and move your capsules around and there's also the capsule ordering section at the right hand side that you can drag and drop your capsules and move them around or double click them to change the size and this way you can make your capsules nest within each other so play around with the arrows and the capsule ordering section together until you have your hub exactly the way you think it should look. And it's all up to you. Now I have a video that I want to put on here. I push the video button and it shows me a little green thing below that says there was a capsule added. I scroll down and there's my video right underneath my other capsules. So I want it to go near the top, probably where the photo section is, so I'm going to drag it around in the capsule ordering section and push reorder now. And after it loads, you'll see everything's changed. My video is now where the photo was. Now I'm just going to click the edit button on the text block capsule and paste a little bit of text in here. Now you can use preformatted text from a word processor program and just copy and paste it in there or you can use the HTML editor that comes in the capsule after it finally loads. So I'm just going to type 
short sentence. This is a simple video tutorial for all of you who are completely new to hub pages. And get my spelling in here right. See, it's got a spell checking. Got on pretty much everything you need. And see, it shows up right there in my text section. So I'm going to get rid of the photo because I'm not going to use that. And then I just have my text and my video section and my comments. Now, when you click the video, it'll show you a box here. And you can type the URL for the video or the entire embed code from whatever site you have. They support Blip TV, Google, Vimeo, YouTube, pretty much all the major sites, Rever. So now we're going to preview and see what our hub looks like. It's going to be pretty plain right now because we're just testing it out. So we're going to save it on published and that takes us here. Your new hub's been saved. Shows you your current hub score which is going to be low because it's a brand new hub and it's not even finished yet. And it says this hub is in danger of being substandard. That just means it's not completely published yet. Now, Hub Pages doesn't want a bunch of unfinished pub, hubs sitting around, so they mark them substandard and delete them if you don't finish them after a few days. So, basically, we're almost done. You can get some suggested tags and fill out your tag section if you can't think of anything else to put in there. And now if you decide you want to delete your hub for any reason, go ahead and push the delete button and it will delete it, but it will be in their system for 24 hours in case you change your mind and you can undelete it. And if you don't, the URL that you chose will be returned to the pool and somebody else can use it. Otherwise, once your hub is finished, go ahead and push the publish button and within minutes it will be available to a wide variety of readers who are going to give you tons of feedback and help you improve your writing and you might even be able to earn a little money along the way. So check out Hub Pages. Click the link at the description or right below and check out my page, Lyril Xander at Hub Pages, and be one of my friends. And if you need any more help, just let me know or check out the forums. Thanks for watching my video tutorial.